Precision Shooting Weather Meter by Weatherflow here on BDB. Mahalo everybody, Big Daddy here, Big Dick Ballistics coming at you today with the Weatherflow Weather Meter for Precision Shooting. Now before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, my name is Big Daddy. I'm a full-time police firearms instructor in the biggest department in the nation, here to bring you gunning gear reviews with that big dick energy. Weatherflow was nice enough to send us out this weather meter. Um, again, I'm so thankful for anybody that's willing to send me stuff to T&E and to do videos on, so thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you wanna send me anything, um, DM me on Instagram, or you could email bigdballisticsllc at gmail.com and send me out some cool stuff. Send me out a shirt, I'll wear it, I'll plug you, I don't mind. Um, this shirt, uh, my friend Tommy gave it to me today from Big T's Garage, located in Suffern, New York. Uh, it's funny, on the back it says, the only thing they can't fix is a broken heart, and that's very true. So, shout out to Tommy, thank you for the shirt. Check out my friends at Goldberg and McEnany, they're attorneys at law. They specialize in NYPD and FDNY three-quarter disability pensions. So, if you have questions about a line of duty or anything, Give them a call. They're really awesome. They're super personable. And they'll only represent you if they think that you have something worth fighting for. So check them out. Also check out the Rusty Cuffs podcast, Medicine in Bad Places for training opportunities, TCCC, TAC Med, Canine Med. They do it all. So check them out. So getting into it, I never had a Kestrel before. I would always just dial back my scope and check out the surrounding areas, right? I'd look at leaves grass, branches, etc., the mirage, and I use that to read my wind, whether it was no value, half value, or full value. And when I went through a three-letter agency uh, long-range school, if you will, they suggested that we get Geo Ballistics, which is an amazing app. It's free to download, and you get one rifle's worth of data to put into it. I opted to pay the $15 or whatever it was to add multiple rifles in it, but the data that you get from it is superb. So when I was seeing what you could also link to it, I was curious to see Weatherflow, and I had no idea who they were, never heard of them, so I looked, and they're basically a poor man's Kestrel, but what you're getting is not poor at all. For $99, you're getting a weather station in the palm of your hand. And it does a lot compared to what I thought it would do. But let's talk about the price point. $100, comes in a nice hard case, comes with an adapter so you could put in like an older Android style cell phone or with a keychain mount. Um, very nice. It's rubber armored, easily connects with Bluetooth, push of a button, and it's serviceable with a CR2034 battery. Simplistic. So what apps does it work with? Well, it recommends you use their wind meter app but I feel like that app limits you. So I do suggest Geo Ballistics now. On the back of the box, and it comes in a very nice box by the way, it says you could use with the Shooter Ballistic Calculator, the Ballistic Arc, but it had a little sticker over this, and that is Streelock Pro, and I heard they were canceled out. I don't use them anymore. It's a good app, and it was worth it for me at the time, but Geo Ballistics, in my opinion, is really super good. And if you have any suggestions on what apps to use, put them in the comments section below and I'll definitely check them out. I'm open to anything and everything. The first thing I wanted to see is, will this work without cellular data, right? Because that's the only downfall. The Kestrel, they have the screen built in so you could read whatever's on the actual device. This you need the phone for. I turned off the cellular data and just went off of the Bluetooth and it worked fine. Now this I really like. The wind meter app is okay, but like I said, it's very basic. Geo Ballistics has you calibrate this thing like a compass. It will tell you which direction that the wind is coming from. Where I was at at the muzzle, I was getting gusts upwards of around two to three miles an hour, not much. But when I went out further around the 50 yard mark, I was starting to get 8.8 .8 mile an hour gusts and the range where I shoot out in good old Fredericksburg, Lebanon County, Pennsylvania, only goes out to 300 yards. So that's not much to affect 223 or a 308. When you're going out to distance, especially at high elevations, mountaintop to mountaintop, especially if you're hunting like doll sheep or taking an extremely long range shot, 
which I think anything past 500 yards from my experience is starting to get into the longer range. Anything zero to 400 is pretty easy in my opinion, but I do this for a living. So to you, it might not be. And if I offended you, I apologize, but fuck you. They say it works guaranteed up to 100 feet. I got up to 90 feet away and it was starting to cut out. So I'll give them that. It does work up to 100 feet away. Um, depending on where I was and, you know, the line of sight, it was pretty much near spot on. So they say 100 feet, that's always going to be a plus or minus. This is good to go in my book. You get spot on humidity, barometric pressure, density altitude, wind speed, ambient temperature. It's all there and it's good. And I like the fact that it could be calibrated without using any cellular data. Beauty of the GeoBallistics app too, is that if you do have cellular service or Wi-Fi or whatever, you could connect this data as well as the data from the nearest um, weather station, whether it be a local airport or some kind of agricultural research you know, facility. It could all tie in together to give you the best real-time data that you could possibly get. Now again, for a big city cop like me, Law enforcement sniper shots are taking place at 75 yards or less or whatever. But if you're a hunter, right, where you're taking that $10,000 trip, that $20,000 outfitter trip, I would say bring this with you for a hundred bucks. It's not gonna make or break the bank, you know, compared to something like the Kestrel with a million different options and accessories. As you could see from the footage, I had this on a Shadow Tech carbon fiber tripod and I was able to screw it into the adapter and just clamp it in really quick into the arc rail, into the quick release. And I set it up to get the perfect flow of the wind and where it was at, I just wasn't getting anything over three miles an hour right at the end of the muzzle. But still, it does make a difference at distance. And when you calculate that, you know, density, altitude and whatever, that could make or break your shot. So Mahalo points, I feel that Weatherflow has done it right with the weather meter. This is the most expensive one they have, I believe, until you get into a weather station and that'll cost you more. But for the money to have this in the range big, especially if you're shooting long range, military high power, even those rimfire competitions or hunting, it's good to go to have the best accurate data as possible, especially if you're collecting dope for the first time or you really need to be on point where you're shooting as a law enforcement sniper, or you're going for that trophy doll sheep on the other end of a mountain peak, right? You need good solid equipment. And I think this holds up. Again, I dropped it, picked it up, dusted it off, worked fine, no hindrance. I turned off the Wi-Fi. I turned off the cellular data, worked out good with no hindrance. So check them out, show them some love, Tell them Big Daddy sent you. I don't have any coupon codes or discounts, but for a $100 bill, you could get good, accurate data for long range shooting. So guys, thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Educate yourselves, your family, and remember, always vote the right way. Stay safe.